Welcome to Tutorials Point. In this video, we are going to learn how to join data from different tables in a query in Microsoft Access 2016. So what happens in most of the query design, it is already expected that you fetch data from two different tables. Sometimes I do not have all the information in one table. So at that time, I run a query to join data from two different tables. So in this particular lesson, we will learn how to design and how to create a multi-table query in Microsoft Access 2016. We'll have a better understanding of this particular topic in our practical approach. Now, in order to do that, I need to go to the Create tab and under the Create tab, I will move to this Queries group and I'll simply click on Query Design. Now, as you can see, by default, Microsoft Access has created a new tab which says Query 1 by default. Alright, we can also change the name of this query later on, but as of now, we will focus on getting the table from this particular window. Now, I say that I want the customer table so I'll simply select that table and add it now other way of adding, uh, adding this is I can simply double click on this so if I double click on this I can get the particular table I say I would like to have the order item table I simply hit on the add button and I close it I'll sim delete this table as I won't be requiring this table okay so and now out here I have the customer table and I have the autos item table now in the customer table these are my fields that involved or these are the fields which are there in the customer table different fields that we have created and on the order item table these are my different field so firstly what we're going to do we are going to join this data from two different table in a query so in order to do that I will select a field and I'll simply drag this field to down here in this particular section now if I drag it here so out here you can see there's this field name and it is showing me from which table it has pulled out this particular field so from customer table it has pulled out the first name I'll also take the last name I'll simply drag it here all right uh, I'll also take the city from this particular table and drag it here or also I can simply double click if I double click it will definitely uh, add this table to the next field all right so if I say I want the order ID if I double click it gets added and this time instead of dragging it I'm again double clicking it I want the quantity so now I have the quantity as well now as of now we will just run this query so I'll simply hit the run button all right so now I have the first name the last name city order ID and the quantity so basically we have created a table in such a way that we have fetched the data it from two different tables all right by running a query on this now next thing will go will go under the view tab and go under the design view all right now we'll try to see what else we can do out here now if you see we have a field list we have a table from where uh, the field list which is a field list this is the table which table you have to fetch the data from now there's something called as sort out here now if I go on this drop down menu it is giving me two options as ascending or descending now if I click on the ascending button if it'll sort the data from A to Z manner and if you click on descending it will sort the data in Z to A manner now let's say that I want to sort the data I want to fetch a data which starts from Z so in order to do that I will go on this drop down menu and click on descending okay so let's go ahead and run this query again I'll go to the result group and I'll simply hit run now as you can see all the first name which are starting from Z can be seen at the top alright so this makes me to search a particular record quite easy right so it helps me in searching a record if it is starting from Z or is starting from A alright so again I'll go to the view tab and go under the design menu okay so we have done this now the next thing which you'd like to do is basically to create a relationship between these two tables so how I create a relationship I can simply uh, select the particular field let's say that I want to see that how many uh, quantity or how many orders a particular customer has ordered so I will select this first name and I'll simply drag it to the menu item ID or the quantity so it will give me a relationship that uh, how many orders a particular customer has placed and how what is the quantity for the same all right so I'll simply double click on the line right I'll simply double click on the line and if you double click on the line it will show the properties now in this properties we have these three things basically I have selected this particular uh, 
radio check button which says include only include rows where the joint fields from both the tables are equal all right but i would ra rather select the second one which says include all record from the customer and only those record which are selected as in which uh, those record from the order item so basically it will select all the records from the customer and it will only show those record which are related to this particular quantity right so if i select this this will give me all the records from the customer table or we can also do vice versa as you can see include all the records from order item and only those record from the customer where the joint fields are equal all right so basically i can select any option if i wish to from here so i'll select this third second option and i simply hit ok now there's a relationship between this table as you can see if you want to change this relationship i can simply right click on it and i click on join properties and it will sh give me the properties of the tape same as well all right i'll simply hit cancel as of now okay so guys this is how you can basically add two different tables and you can join two different table by running a query now also if you want to name this query i need to save this the moment i click on save it is asking me what should be the name of this query i can simply type this as sample query and it will be seen under r query step so I simply hit ok now this name as sample query I'll close this if I go under this drop down menu under the query tab you can see uh, my sample query alright guys so this is uh, how it is done alright hopefully this video was helpful for you guys